gosh, 2008, I tell the story in my second book. There was a moment where I thought I was on this track to become a manager at ESPN. I was like, yes, this is, this is the person who's about to, you know, my boss in essence, who is, you know, overseeing me was leaving, going on to another job. And I was ready to step into that role. And I let the people know who were doing the hiring. I wanted this job. I wanted this role. And, um, right before I, 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 you know, really started to focus on trying to get that job. I got a, a review, um, from ESPN every year ESPN does two levels of reviews um a mid-year review which is kind of like how you're doing here's an update on how the year is going and then some goals to work towards and then the year-end review which is the whole year and usually there's uh you know three or four different levels that they they sign you off on it's really a weird thing like you feel like you're you're going on a full um I mean, it's like being, you know, interviewed after your season's done to see how you did. And then it's like, are we going to keep you or are we not going to keep you? They never were getting rid of us, but it was really interesting to have a mid-year review and a year-end review. And I remember walking into my boss's office in 2008, around May, for the mid-year review, and it was the worst mid-year review I've ever had. Jason is not focused. Jason is not paying attention to the current job. Jason is so focused on the other jobs that he might want to go for someday that he's not currently focused on the job and the task at hand. It was pretty scathing. And I'd never received a review like that. I honestly had no idea that I was not performing up to standard. Nobody was giving me a heads up. So maybe that could have been communicated a little bit better. But when I saw that mid-year review, I mean, it was almost to the point of tears, as weird as that sounds, you know, and I was like, man, what the heck is wrong with me? So I remember going back and saying, all right, that's never happening again. Now, I might not be the most high performing person at ESPN, but I was never going to let the work that I was doing right there each day take a back seat to something bigger that I was thinking about down the road. And honestly, doors opened after that at ESPN for me to have great opportunities. I never got that manager job that I wanted. My boss, Carol, uh, my friend, Carol, who is now my at that time, my boss, got it. She was eight years younger than me. So I, I had to eat some humble pie and she was 28. No, she was 26 and I was 34 and she became suddenly my boss, but she was also the best boss I ever had. And she changed my life at ESPN because she gave me opportunities that I weren't, I wasn't getting before that. And so a bad season of life, a bad time at ESPN actually turned into a really great time um, and allowed my career to jumpstart in a different way that I wasn't expecting. 